Good morning. Take a look at everything I have set up for you today. I think you are absolutely going to love this video and find it really helpful because today I am sharing my favorite pre-workout foods, snacks, drinks, everything you could have before your workout to make sure you set yourself up to not only feel great during your workout and have energy and stamina and endurance, but also to make sure that you're setting yourself up to get the best results possible as quickly as possible. Because of course, that's why we're working out, right? We wanna feel great, but we also wanna get those noticeable changes, whether it be trimming down, tightening up, noticing more definition in our body. What we eat and what we do before our workout can really make or break the results that we get, and that's why it's so important to have some really good choices available to you. So I'm gonna walk you through two snack ideas, two breakfast ideas, and two lunch or dinner options as well because we all work out at different times. And if you fast before workouts, then keep in mind that these all make great post-workout meals as well. So whether it's before or after your workout, these are ideal. The main reason why is because they are lower in fat and higher in our protein and our carbohydrates. And really, when it comes to what you're eating around your workout, either before or after, ideally, that point in the day, you're a little bit lower on the fats. Of course, you're still gonna have some, and a little bit higher on your proteins and carbohydrate sources. Protein, to make sure that your muscles are looked after and make sure you're able to recover quickly, and carbohydrates to provide you with that all-natural energy source. Mother Nature's gift to us carbohydrates, right? They are so delicious. So let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to walk you through each thing, starting with the snacks, because these are the easiest. So keep in mind when it comes to eating before your workout, if you're having something small, you may be okay to have it about an hour beforehand. If you're having a full meal, wait about two to three hours before stepping on your mat and getting in your workout, just to make sure you're not digesting a bunch of food <laughs> in your belly while you're trying to move around, right? So first snack is, here is our healthy carbohydrate source. We've got a beautiful organic Granny Smith apple. My favorite apples are Granny Smith. I would love to know what your favorite kind of apple is. Then we have some lactose-free um, cottage cheese. It doesn't have to be lactose-free. That's just my personal preference. Cottage cheese is, if dairy is in your diet, is something that is great because it's super high protein. It also has some healthy carbohydrates as well and is lower on the fat too. So boom, snack number one, fruit of your choice and some cottage cheese. Snack number two, probably my favorite everyday snack, is some veggies, a couple of these Mary's organic crackers, and hummus. Oh my goodness, love hummus. This is a really light snack that you could have any time throughout the day. Um, because it is really well balanced. Again, we've got our healthy carbohydrates, some protein, and a little bit of fat from the hummus, but a perfect, well-rounded, light snack that you could have to ensure that you get everything you need before your workout, right? There are our two snack options. Moving on to breakfast. Of course, we have to talk about oatmeal. Oatmeal is a great choice. Um, I quite often have just rolled oats, but sometimes I have something like this. This is creamy coconut superfood oatmeal. It has chia, buckwheat, hemp, and coconut. I just poured some hot water in here, mix it up, let it sit for a minute, and then it's gonna be ready to rock. I always like to top my oatmeal with some fruit as well, so I'm gonna chop beautiful strawberry in there and we are ready to go so oatmeal great choice occasionally i would mix in um, some protein powder or have an egg on the side as well because oatmeal alone is kind of boring and may not give you the protein you need so you could add in my favorite is scrambled egg whites um, you could add in a hard-boiled egg whatever suits you some turkey sausage on the side Oatmeal for breakfast, and I'm loving this here in Canada where it's really cold, so um, that is a great choice as well. Moving right along, you guys are probably so tired of hearing me talk about these because 
<laughs> I've been on a massive protein pancake kick, okay? So if you're seeing me talk about these all the time, I'm sorry, I'm completely in love. What I do is make a big batch of protein pancakes. I will put the recipe in the description box for you so that you can make them as well. But I make a big batch and in the morning, I either pop them in the toaster or the microwave, top with some fruit, some peanut butter, some coconut flakes, whatever I feel like on that day. And that is a delicious and amazing source of protein. It only has one scoop of protein powder in there, but it has beautiful organic rolled oats. We also so have egg whites, whole eggs, um, some banana, some flax, and oh my goodness, totally obsessed with these. So I'm sorry if you're tired of hearing about these darn protein pancakes, but it's doing it for me. This is my current favorite pre-workout situation is protein pancakes. And then about two hours later, I have my workout. And that leads me to a little trick that I use before every workout, especially the more intense ones, which is my amino H2O. So my current routine is having my protein pancakes, then right as I'm gonna step on my mat and start my workout, I mix up my amino H2O, which is a BCAA branch chain amino acid supplement that is zero calories, zero carb, zero sugar, gluten-free, vegan-friendly, and really provides me with the caffeine-free energy that I need to power through my workout and have tons of energy, stamina, and endurance without adding in any unwanted calories or caffeine. So it tastes delicious. And this is something you can also lean on for a snack throughout the day when you get that little craving. So. I really do feel like this helps me during my workouts, but also helps me to recover and get the best workouts possible so that when I'm recovering and I'm in that recovery mode, my body is able to get those muscles all healed up. My body's able to stay in a caloric deficit, which is the key to weight loss. And I feel like it's something that we all need to talk about because a lot of times people will say to me, oh my gosh, I can't believe you can eat carbs like oatmeal and protein pancakes and hummus and things like that or rice, which I'm going to show you for lunch or dinner. And really, the foods you eat do matter, but what really, really matters is calories in versus calories out. And that is why amino H2O is so, so important. And I see Gerilyn is asking where you can get it. I have a link in the description box for you where you can head on over and get Amino H2O at the best price possible, only for our Facebook and Instagram family. So head on over and check that out. It's something that I lean on every day when I'm gonna do those intense workouts and it makes all the difference in the world because it also helps us with that golden rule of we need to be in a little bit of a calorie deficit to get that weight loss. And I think that's something that a lot of us forget. So boom, amino H2O. Now you know my current routine. The final two meals that I have to share with you, and these are our first kind of big substantial meals that you could have for either breakfast or lunch. This is one of my favorites. And maybe you've seen this, maybe you haven't, but instead of having a tuna sandwich, which totally nothing wrong with bread, but I have been trying to have more whole carbohydrate sources instead of processed. So I'm really enjoying having half of a baked potato. So I'll just make up a big batch of baked potatoes. I have half with a little mixed green salad and um, tuna. And I have a can of organic albacore flaked tuna making my mouth water. I <laughs> add to that salt, pepper, dill, um, a little bit of vegan mayo, which I love because I'm a total mayo girl mustard and relish and there is a perfect warm delicious lunch or dinner and oh my goodness you could even grate a little bit of cheese on top if you wanted <clears throat> my mom was over the other day and i made this for her for lunch and she absolutely loved it and it really powers you up it's got everything we need it's got that amazing um, high protein from the tuna it's got some healthy carbs some greens i mean it's perfect and you get to have a potato like <clears throat> i don't know about you but i love love and then the final choice is probably the most boring one, but hey, it had to be in here because I know for me, when I just want something simple, I don't want to think about it. I don't want to have to like figure out what's perfect for me. The easiest thing to do is think about 
having a healthy protein source, a healthy carbohydrate source, and some greens or veggies, and boom, you're done. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. This is some pulled pork carnitas that I made earlier in the week. Um, this isn't a staple for me, but it's what I had in the fridge today. Normally I would have chicken or salmon, something like that as this, but hey, it's great. It tastes darn delicious. Then I've got some beautiful brown rice that I made in my rice cooker. I tend to do about a half a cup as my serving size for brown rice and some broccoli and it's done. Perfect pre or post workout meal. Um, really making sure that again, we're, we're watching our portion size because that is one of the best ways to make sure that you are able to reach your goals is to make sure that we're watching our calories for the day. And, and I don't mean necessarily counting calories because that's not something that I do, but being aware of our portion sizes, being aware of the drinks we're having. Amino H2O provides me with energy without having to go grab a latte or cappuccino from Starbucks that's like 300 calories to try and give me a little boost of energy so boom perfect so those are all of my wonderful meal options for you today if you have any questions please do be sure to leave them in the comments below I truly do hope that this video was helpful I hope that you feel armed with all the knowledge you need now to know what you are gonna have before or after your workouts <sighs> so that you can just start getting those noticeable results that we're all after. Be sure to check out Amino H2O. It's something that not only me, but thousands of women in our community lean on and are getting such great results from incorporating into their daily routine. So I highly suggest you check that out as well. I am wishing you a great rest of your day. I'll look forward to chatting with you in the comments and we'll see you again soon. Big hugs, lots of love, bye-bye.